Good morning, Falcons. I'm Trenton. And I'm Kaylee. Today is Wednesday, January 8th. We hope you're having a great day. Why not practice the Falcon Creed? Focused on academics, always respectful, leading by example, committed to excellence, on time, on task, never defeated. All of these are perks to following the Falcon Creed. Being a Falcon is hard work, but in the long run it pays off. Being a Falcon means to always follow the Falcon Creed and to excel at every opportunity. The application for Florida financial aid is open. All seniors should apply as this is for Bright Futures and other state financial aid. Go to floridastudentfinancialaid.org to apply or see Mrs. Gartland. The deadline to apply for the Pasco Education Foundation Scholarship is January 15th. The application is also used for other scholarships without a separate application, so be sure to fill it out. Seniors can apply online at pascoeducationfoundation.org. Come out and see your 5A wrestling team take on the Mitchell Mustangs today during sixth period. Not only will you get out to see some of the top rated wrestlers in the state compete, but you'll also get out of class. Tickets are on sale during lunch, so be sure to purchase yours. 5A is looking for volunteers to assist with the 2014 Conference Wrestling Tournament on January 25th. Individuals are needed to assist with the concessions, table scoring, runners, hospitality room, and door ticket takers. If you are interested, see Mr. Mo at mmo at pasco.k12.fl.us. The last day to pre-order and reserve your yearbook is January 31st. Yearbooks are $70. After that date, only a very limited amount will be available on a first-come, first-served basis at a price of $80. We'll be right back with this quick commercial break. Hey guys, Coach Bornkel here. I'm going to give you a breakdown of how the in-school match is going to go today. There's 14 weight classes, guys, so there's going to be 14 matches tomorrow. Each match is six minutes. It's broken up into three two-minute periods. The person with the most points at the end of the match wins. The person can also win by pin, which means they hold their opponent on the mat for flat on his back for two seconds, or a technical fall, which is when an opponent is winning by 15 points. If somebody gets pinned, that's 16 points. If somebody gets a technical fall, that's five team points for a normal win. That's three team points. And then there's a major decision. If the person wins by more than eight points, that's four team points. Points are scored in wrestling by either takedowns, near fall, or escapes. You get two points for a takedown. If you're, when they're on their feet, if one person takes the other person to the mat, they're going to get two point takedown. If the other person gets up, that's a one point escape. You could also get near falls. When you hold the, your opponent on his back for two seconds, you get two points. For five seconds, you get three points. You could also have a reversal, meaning the person on the bottom uh, reverses the other man and now he's on top and he's in control. That's a two-point um, takedown, two-point move, two-point move. So that's how scoring is going to work tomorrow. Okay. Last time we wrestled Mitchell, we were 39-39 and went into the fifth tiebreaker. So it should be a very good match. Come out and support your Falcons. We'll see you there. Two dollars. Softball tryouts will continue today from 3.20 to 5.30 p.m. and will run through Friday, January 10th. Girls interested in trying out must have a completed physical form turned into Coach Bollinger before trying out. Players also need their own gloves and cleats. See Coach Bollinger and Boys PE with any questions. Graduation requirements have changed for many of you. To view your graduation requirements, visit the guidance website, then click on your grade level to learn more. Remember that graduation requirements go by the year in which you entered ninth grade. Baseball conditioning is held at 3.05 on the baseball field. Conditioning will run through January 10th. You must have a physical to participate. Baseball tryouts will take place on January 13th and 14th at 3.05 on the baseball field. You must be there for both days of the tryout and have a physical in order to participate. See Coach Hayes in room 3118 with any questions. 
Boys and girls tennis tryouts are Monday, January 13, Thursday, January 16 from 3 to 5 p.m. In order to try out, you must have a completed physical packet. If you have any questions, see Coach Pollock in room 3120 or Coach Goodell in room 4129. Well, Falcons, that's all we have for you today. I'm Trenton. And I'm Kaylee saying have, have a great, great day, day 5A. 5A.